Hi folks, welcome once again to a GazLab short video. And today I'm going to be looking at the um, it's the ShareBrain Technology Porter Pack One. Now the Porter Pack One is just basically a drop on board for the very popular Hack RF One, which is an an SDR which is capable of uh, TX at very very low power. It has no filter, so you'd probably have to build sort of something for the particular frequency you were experimenting with. Um, but it also is uh, an SDR receiver and it's a fairly capable um, SDR receiver. It will go from the, the low sort of megs, um, maybe even low kilohertz, right the way up to about six gigs, um, as I understand. But like I said, it's a very, very low power. I mean, it's, you know, minimal uh, power. Um, but that's not what it's about. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you this uh, this little device now, which is really, really quite cool. It's this is kind of like almost like a, just like a peek into just where I, th I think uh, the future is going to be for sort of things like uh, for, for radio um, and just like the devices that are going to be starting to sort of come come forward as different uh, chips and uh, uh, technology becomes available because this is rather rather uh, good. Um, right. Um, what I'll do is if I just zoom in, well, I'll tell you what, let's, let's have a little look at the, the main feature. Here, you can actually see there's a like a jog button. And what you can do with this is you can jog up and down and you can go left and right. Um, and in the center, you've got like the tuning wheel, which again, you can actually whiz round and you can hear it click in there. Um, will actually go up and down the menu or it will actually tune in to um, tune your VFO or you can change the uh, other variables. Um, and what we'll do is if we whiz down here, Hack RF, um, the, this, we'll go through the menu just very briefly. The Hack RF option in the menu basically defaults the device back to the Hack RF vanilla firmware. So you can use the Hack RF as the Hack RF um, and you can use it with GNU radio and that sort of stuff from the from the um, from the USB port. Um, the next one is debug. Um, now debug, what that uh, does is it gives you like things like the hash code and all that sort of stuff of the firmware. If that's important to you, then, you know, you're, you're cleverer than I am. Um, now then, the next one is about, it gives you the, the versions and all that sort of stuff of the, the firmware and uh, um, other bits and bobs. Setup, that goes into, um, basically you can set things like the, the time and date and, and that sort of stuff. Analyze is an option that isn't enabled at the moment. I don't know what it's gonna do. Um, time will tell, we'll see. Um, capture um, is, that one's, that one does a very, very broad um, spectrum, and you can see it here running. Um, quite just a, a quite a, a big, broad sort of spectrum. You can see this 200k here either side of the center um, frequency. Let's come back out of that. Um, and the next one here is the receiver. Now this gives you two options, and this is quite interesting because it's another thing that gives you just that little glimpse into where this is sort of kind of going. And here you've got transponders. Now, if we open that one up, you've got uh, AIS here for, for boats. Um, let's actually let's zoom in to that a little bit, actually, so you can see. Um, here you've got, um, yeah, um, you've got AIS for, for boats here. You've got utility meters and you've got TPMS uh, for cars. Now, I don't know what, what those are and whether they're actually any, uh, whether they're, they're, you can use them in the UK for, for anything particular. But it's kind of a glimpse into where this is sort of going. And the one that sort of um, sort of piqued my interest more than anything is just, uh, you know, just for a bit of fun and just where this could go is ERT utility meters. Now, if you go open this one up, you can see here it like gives you the ID, um, I don't know what TP means, but it gives you the consumption and yeah, I don't know what else, um, which I think is fascinating. So we'll see where that goes. Um, the other one that's quite interesting is TPMS for cars. Now, I don't know what that is, um, but yeah, it's worth um, it's worth a little investigation. Um, I don't know if that's radar. Is it KPR? I don't know. Anyway, doesn't matter. Um, it's there. It's good fun. Um, but the one there that might work in the UK is the AIS for boats. Um, 
that is quite interesting um some people like all that sort of stuff it will give you the the transponder numbers and uh, you know all that sort of stuff the name and the call and and all that sort of groovy stuff um and you can look them up on the web i don't know whatever floats your boat <laughs> right now then let's um go back out of that uh let's go back where do we go um the next one's audio now this one is typical what radio hams would be listening to um and here you can sort of see that i've now got um a 6k um either side of the the center frequency um and at the moment it's sort of set up in so that's giving you a 12k um, bandwidth there um, and at the moment it's set up in narrow fm that's now in a wide fm that's giving you what's that it's 10 it's 100 it's giving you the 200 um, k um, sorry yeah 200 k bandwidth on that and this one here is giving you the spectrum this is giving you a, a basically a 10 meg spread um, across um, and what else can we do now you've got am here as well this will give you your sideband so what you do is you just drop down with the jog wheel and now you can use with the center um, wheel here you can select the different different modes and you can see here it's now gone to a, a 3k um, lower sideband um, and um, a 3k upper sideband um, now what else can we do with it we can change the frequency at the moment it's on 433956 uh, um, but what you can do is if you click in the in the center um, of the jog wheel um, let's come, come back out for you yeah if you click in the center here um, then what that will do for you is it will go into the manual mode so you can actually dial in manually and um, zoom back in for you um, so for instance if we just put in there so one four and we'll leave it at that so no let's go one four zero zero there you go that'll do and um, now it's taken us to 14 megs and it's upper sideband here um, now i've only got a little area on here there's no, you're not going to hear very much at all um, but you know you can you get the drift it's kind of um it's pretty neat and here i've got the if you look the jog wheel is like moving across the options at the top it's now in the the frequency mode and by moving the center i was just going to zoom back out again for you by moving that sort of center you can then change it um so what else is on there so across the top here now this is um this is the if gain um, and again you can change that by by moving the, the jog wheel um, and then the next one along is the band uh, sorry the bass band um, gain so you can change that with your with the jog wheel um, in the center um, the next one across is the volume now at the moment I've actually not got anything at all plugged into this I, I, I didn't really need it I've not got an area all attached um, but you basically put like a set of um, you know uh, Walkman little headphones in there or your iPad things whatever um, and you can you can listen to that but you could also use a powered PC speaker that would be fine and that's where you adjust the volume so just up in the top corner here you can just see that it's now highlighted now if we go up into the top you'll see there's now a half moon uh, enabled now that is actually the um, the the uh, pull to pack h1 on and off now it's turned itself off and push the center again and it comes back on um, and the next one along is a is a capture um, thing now i'm not sure how this works i've not actually tried it i think it's because i've not got um, a card in there at the moment uh, an sd card that it probably won't work i don't know um, or it's just not a, a feature that's been enabled yet but then if we go across here um, if we come down a little bit more actually um here you can see just here they've got the red little dot here that's audio record um so you could actually potentially record down to to sd card as well um now what else can you do with it um here you go so if you come up to the to the gain here i've got it set on the um on the on the if gain now if you highlight that one and then come straight down it goes into this amp um section just here and you can see that if I turn this, it goes into amp zero and amp one, and it gives you an extra kick of, uh, of gain, um, which is quite nice, especially if you, I mean, at the moment I'm running with this tiny, tiny little aerial, um, and, you know, you can, you know, you can play around with it. It's, it's actually really quite good. Um, 
and that pretty much at the moment is as much as I know about it really um, I've got the instructions here which I've kind of downloaded uh, piecemeal it's a it's an HTML document that's um, on on the web um, and where did I get it from uh, yeah it comes from um, the wiki uh, from from uh, the, the wiki site um, or did it come from github no the instructions are on github um, and um, they're based in like an html sort of format and you skip between different pages but what i've done here is i've just printed old pages out of it so i'll go through it and have a quick gander but i really wanted you guys to have a look um it's quite interesting um really quite a neat uh, like a neat device and i can see it being useful for sort of things like tracking down noise especially for you know nowadays when you're trying to track down a, a device which is on a particular frequency giving you a lot of uh, hassle you can go around and actually see it on a on a really really good little um on a, on a spectrum scope okay well I, I hope that it's um this has been of um some use to you um and as always um leave comments down below or you guys if you want to email me i'll leave my email in the in the comment section below um you you can it would appear that lots of people like doing that but leave comments is always the best way because lots of people get involved. Um, thanks for all the very kind comments that uh, some people have been leaving recently. Um, it's a it's a real buzz, and um, you know it just kind of. I only do this, you know, because obviously I work in in the industry. I get access to this sort of stuff that I'm able to bring home for a couple of nights, and rather than waste that opportunity, I kind of share it. It's not. I don't get a kick out of this it's a lot of hard work and it's it, uh, um, to be honest which I enjoy um, but uh, it is uh, hard work and it doesn't come free um, you know there are things that I buy that to, to make this a little easier for myself um, and that sort of thing so but what I'm saying is it, it basically you know I get this opportunity I want to share it so it's really really nice when people leave kind comments and just sort of say that it, I've helped in some small way um, Thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever. Um, it's all good in the end. Um, and um, yeah, I'll uh, see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.